Hi, my name is Jan. I'm with the DownTube. I want to introduce our new DownTube Nova folding bike. So this is our value lightweight option. Right? Generally, this sells for about in the four hundred dollar range, and our competitors' bikes, which are comparably equipped, are well over seven and honestly over eight hundred dollars. So I want to talk about some of the features we have. We have really nice grips, awesome brake levers here, which are really nice and tight. You're not, not going to find anything. You know, like these brake levers in this price range that we offer. Trigger shifters are truly unique. Usually value, you know, bikes in, in under five hundred dollars are gonna come with really old school three wheels and trigger and, and grip shifts. And grip shifts are actually really rough on your wrist. And three wheels are essentially an old school, like 20, honestly it's 30 year old technology. It, it means that the free wheel is gonna wobble on the back of your bike and your shifting is never gonna be right no matter what you do. And so we use a cassette. So we have an eight speed cassette, the trigger shifters, trigger shifters are 100 times better than grip shift, and the cassette is just gonna allow you to, to shift smoothly. And we use 1134 cassette, which is much wider than everybody else in the industry, which is really great because it gives you more options as far as gears from low to high. Inch and a half rise on the handlebars is ideal because it allows you to rotate them forward if you have really long arms, long upper body, you need a longer virtual top tube length. And likewise, if you, if you have shorter arms or you need a shorter virtual top tube length, you rotate them back, and, and that works perfectly. Okay, so the stem, oh, sorry about that. The stem is height adjustable, as you can tell, with a quick release. So, you know, if you want it really low, you can, you, can, you can set it really low. If you want it higher, you can do that. Either way, it works perfectly. Controls on the left are the same as controls on the right, except for the bell, which I just wronged by accident. Okay, here we have the stem, which has a, a nice dial, so it's really stiff. I'm not gonna fold that right now, but I'll fold the bike later towards the end of the video. But I, I really like the stem for, for the fact that it's super stiff. Head tube interface, three volt head tube interface for a bag system, which is the perfect place to carry stuff on a bike. The drivetrain is the heaviest part of a bike. When your bike can be really lightweight, aluminum, thin, you know, thin wheels, it can be really lightweight, but you know, that drivetrain is gonna have a lot of weight. So to counter that weight in the back, it's perfect to carry loads in the front, okay? And so having a bag interface right there is perfect. So I really like to carry stuff right here. And also the bags can clip on and off the tension of the bike, which is really nice. So we used to, you know, we moved on to 1.5 tires in front and rear on the new Novas, which is a really great setup. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, really nice quick release wheels, which, which is a great, something you're not gonna find in the price range that, that we offer, right? Folding pedals are great. They just push this and they just fold up perfectly, unfold, water bottle braze on. Interface for the front derailleur. So you can put, make this a multi-speed drivetrain bike if you so choose, right? Really like the new paint, two-tone paint dynamic that, that we're using. I think it's a lot better than our old school stuff. Definitely excited about that. And you know the newest bikes, we actually have really nice cold forge cranks with ISIS, stop, ISIS bottom brackets. So they're really much stiffer, the power interface is, you know, is, is much greater. So because there's more contact area between the cranks and the bottom brackets. So it's really, really nice stuff. Something you're not gonna find anywhere near the prices we're offering this for. And the cable routing for the front derailleur is just from underneath. So you can't see that in the video, but that's okay. Pump interface in the back, little kickstand here, which you also can't see, but I'll knock that down. And down here we have a frame protector, which is perfect if you're flying with the bike, it'll protect it from the bottom. Also, when you fold it, you can actually balance it on that, if you so choose, right? Yeah, quick release on the saddle, nice little saddle with a love channel here for comfort. And interfaces for a rack in the back, right? So, and fenders as well, if you so choose to put fenders on it. I mean, this is perfect for a lightweight bike. So if you choose to put fenders, I think that's great. Also, you can put 1136 cassette on the back of this if you want a wider gear range. But I think 1134 is unbelievably wide for a bike like this. And the lowest gear we use is generally 28 on our entire lineup for the most part, except for minis. And so that'll get you up almost any hill you can imagine. And it still gives you a good top end because with 1134, you're going three times that. Roughly 90 gear inches would be the high gear, give or take. 
you know, beautiful rear derailleur. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we had a cassette in the back. It's not a free wheel. Nothing in the price range that we're offering this for has a cassette like this. So these are very nice, economically, economical, lightweight bike, super light. I just want to show you how to hold it, and that'll you know, finish off the video. So you know, loosen the stem dial, and put the stem down to the side. Okay? And you see post, you can fold if you need the height to go down, if not, and the pedals fold. And I'm gonna loosen this quick release, and it folds like so, and unfolding is exactly in the same way. So, perfect. Seat up, and I'll leave the pedal folded just to make my life easier. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it.